Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, today's video is going to be an eBay favorites video. I haven't seen a lot of eBay favorites videos on YouTube. I've seen a lot of Amazon favorites and I have some more coming up, so stay tuned for those. I know people think that eBay is just a place where third party sellers can sell things. For example, if I wanted to sell something, I could just go on there and sell one item of mine and it'll be gone. But there are actual sellers on eBay too that have kind of like their own stores there and those are the items that I'm gonna be showing you guys today. So the first item that I'm gonna start with is actually my phone case and I have mentioned this in a few other videos before but just real quick I want to mention that some of the items that I'm showing you guys are definitely sold on other sites like Amazon as well but what I've found is that most times not all times but most times it'll be cheaper from an eBay store so that is where I got my phone case if you guys do prefer to shop on Amazon though and I can find some of the products on there I will have alternative links down below as well but anyway my first eBay favorite is my phone case it's basically just a white marble rectangle phone case and I am so in love with it. It's simple, a little unique with the shape of it and I am such a sucker for marble and also my phone's background or like the color on the back is white so it fits perfectly with the white marble. They do have other color options. I think they have black and pink as well. I got my boyfriend the black one because his phone has the black background so it's really cute because we have matching marble phones now. <laughs> but anyway yeah I've been using this case for about six months now. I don't know if you guys can see but it is super like scratched up it has little tiny scratches everywhere but it doesn't really change the look of it which I love I know with some cases once you get scratches or little chips like this one has a little tiny chip right here or actually not a chip but like a little dent in but you can barely tell whereas with some cases you can I also love the fact that because it's rectangle it has these little bumpers on each corner so whenever I drop my phone and the corner gets hit the case really takes most of the impact so yeah I really love this case and I recommend it if you guys are in the market for a new one so the next item I have to show you guys is my AirPod Pro case. I am so in love with it. It is this really adorable Louis Vuitton inspired case. The seller that I got this from actually makes a ton of different style cases and I also picked up a little Gucci one. I'll just show you the Gucci one first because my AirPod Pros are not in this one. So yeah, it just kind of opens like that. The logo is spot on and yeah, it's super cute. I love this one. Anyway, this is the one that mine are currently in. I think it is so cute. It definitely looks real. I don't know if you guys can see, but right here on the LV, it actually says Louis Vuitton engraved in it. And like I said, these sellers make so many different options. They have Supreme, they have Burberry, they have other Louis Vuitton options. They have one without the LV. They have the white version of this print they have so many options so I will have that link down below if you guys are interested and my next eBay favorite is actually inside of here it's not the AirPods but it is the gold lining that I have inside I don't know if you guys can see that but like this gold sticker stuff right here I bought that on eBay and put it on myself I won't lie to you guys it was very hard to get it exactly right and I tore it twice but thankfully you can't tell also before I pop these out of here I forgot to mention that when you open the lid to these cases the AirPods kind of come out with with it a little bit I don't know if you can see that but it is because the case is one piece whereas most cases have a top part and a bottom part so the airpods are kind of lifting with the lid anyway I'm gonna take them out super easy so here are my AirPods and here is the sticker and basically it just comes in this little pack. You have a little cleaning cloth, a little drying cloth, and the stickers so you can make sure everything is clean before you put them on and then you just have to get them just right and place them down. And I know it's super extra, you definitely do not need these in your life, but I just figured with this case it would just look so nice. So I picked them up, I think they were only like $4 or something. Also I don't know if you guys can see, but right here is where one of the rips happened and right here is where the other happened. So you can barely tell but anyway yeah that is another one of my favorites all right so sticking with luxury related items at the moment the next product I have to show you relates to Louboutins I actually bought them for my 21st birthday and I was so proud of myself and I got them super discounted because I got them secondhand I believe I actually got them for $360 just around that amount I bought them from a seller in Australia which was super lucky because with the currency rate between Australian dollars and US dollars I got them for way less than I 
probably would have from a US seller. Anyway, with that said, the next item I want to show you are sole protectors. So of course, as many of you guys know, Louboutin is known for their red bottoms and I love that. I love the concept so much, but I freaking hate when people's Louboutins get super scuffed on the bottom and they just look like absolute trash. If I'm going to be paying that much money for a pair of shoes, I want them looking brand new for as long as they possibly can. So I did my research and I found these clear sole protectors on eBay and they can actually work for any shoe, I believe, or at least any high heel shoe. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is where it cuts off. And basically you just put the clear protector on the bottom of your shoe and then cut it to fit the shape. So I have it going from the tip of the toe up until about here. And as you guys can see, the bottom of my Louboutins are almost spotless. The only damage that the actual shoes themselves have obtained are these little dents all over the bottom where I was walking on concrete or any sort of rough area. And these dirt marks right here are just on the protector. So if I were to peel these off and ever decide to sell them, they would look practically brand new. And on top of that, whenever I wear them out, they look gorgeous because they are not all scuffed up. And these heel protectors have been on here for about maybe, I'm turning 23 this April. So if I bought them when I was 21, I've had them on the shoes maybe like a year and <laughs> eight months or so. And they have never started to peel off. You guys may have noticed right here that there was a little bubble, but that's just from when I put it on. These things are honestly on here for good until I decide to like really take them off, which I don't think I ever will. So it is safe to say that I'm obsessed with these. They work beautifully and I'm so happy that I found them. I would really recommend if you guys have a pair of nice shoes that you're trying to preserve, definitely go ahead and check these out because it is so worth it. Anyway, on to the next item and that is this or these I should say. These two sparkly meshy thingies are basically swimsuit cover-ups and I will insert some clips of my friend and I wearing them in Cabo. I picked them up in both black and white. I wore the black one, she wore the white one and they were so gorgeous. My friends and I all went out on a sunset cruise in Cabo and it was so nice to wear these in the evening. It just made it feel like you were on a yacht and you were all dressed luxuriously and people literally asked us all night long where they were from and I just kept telling them eBay $14 and I don't know if the price has changed since then but again I will have them linked down below but yeah they are literally one of my favorite things ever I don't know why I just love a little extra bit of sparkle and if you are like me and like to draw attention with your outfits I would really recommend checking these out they are a little bit delicate mine started ripping a little bit right here but they are not too bad at all you can literally like yank them and they're fine just where the slit is at the bottom I would be a little bit careful so speaking of Cabo there's one more item that I wore there that I got from eBay and that is this little boho romper if you're like me and have big boobies you got to be a little bit careful with this one because it is a really really deep V but the pattern of it the colors of it and all the little tassels hanging off of it are so pretty and on the side of the shorts right here you have the option to cinch it in with the little tassels so it can go higher or lower depending on what you want and the back is completely backless I don't know if you guys can see but there's no back to it I don't have too much footage but I will insert a clip of me wearing it in Cabo so you guys can see what it looks like also the turquoise necklace that I'm wearing in this clip I got from eBay as well I will try to find that link I cannot find the necklace right now but yeah these two paired together were such a gorgeous look and I loved it I lied I lied I'm sorry I just checked in one more place and I actually found the necklace excuse the fact that one stone is missing I was a bit rough on this when packing it for my vacation but I do have the stone I just haven't had the time to glue it back in its little frame but here is the necklace literally one of the prettiest turquoise necklaces I've ever seen obviously the turquoise is not real this is just costume jewelry but it is so pretty and it also came with matching earrings you guys probably saw me wearing them in the clip but here they are honestly such a cute set so if you guys are looking for any type of boho or festival jewelry I would really recommend checking out this set I know everything's canceled right now but we need to have something to look forward to all right so next up is one of my all-time favorite favorite purchases ever and that is my 21st birthday dress if you guys are not familiar with this style of dress this is basically an exact dupe for Paris Hilton and Kendall Jenner's 21st birthday dress the first time I ever saw this dress I just knew I had to own it so when I turned 21 I hopped on the bandwagon and I wore this dress and it was literally everything I could have imagined I felt like such a queen like Kendall Jenner who 
this is my dress girl the next item I'm gonna show you goes along the same lines it is literally the same exact material but it is in a crop top form there's nothing really too much to say about this but one thing I forgot to mention about the material is that the straps pretty much just clip onto the metal mesh crystal stuff and if it gets pulled too hard this stuff will break really easily anyway so I love the dress so much that I got the top as well that I can wear with skirts or jeans or whatever just to make a more casual looking outfit a little more glamorous and also just in case you guys are not a fan of silver they also come in gold I'll try to have those linked down below as well I did have a gold version of the dress at one point but I sold it when I needed some extra money so I don't have the one anymore but I do have this one and this is basically just the same style dress but a different material the material is pretty much just metal without the crystals and I bought this dress for my graduation video I know I know what's a graduation video you might ask well I graduated in film and media and I love making videos as you guys can tell I have a YouTube channel for my graduation I decided that I want some grad pictures but I also want a graduation video so what I did is I made a little clip of me at some of my campus's most iconic spots in a bunch of different outfits and this was one of them and unfortunately due to copyright reasons regarding the music I used I can't post it on my channel but if you guys are interested it is posted on my Instagram so go ahead and check that out if you would like also give your girl a follow it would mean a lot to me but anyway yeah I got this dress from eBay and I love it so much it worked so great for the video and hopefully I will get a chance to wear it again soon because I can only imagine on vacation with a tan and some body glitter or body oil this would just be a stunner oh also if you're not into gold they make that in silver as well all right so my next eBay favorite is this hair extension holder I don't actually know what it's officially called but basically it's to hang your hair extensions if you don't want them laying around all the time so these are my old hair extensions and as you can see you clip them to the hanger and then zip them up inside this bag and they fit perfectly in any closet and honestly they were a lifesaver because before I knew about these I would just have my hair extensions laying around all the time and they looked so bad now that I can hang them up in my closet it's just so much better so if you are a hair extension girl I would really recommend getting one of these so here is the case for the ones that I'm wearing right now and basically all you do is these don't open on their oh my god these don't open on their own unless you unhook them so you take this you bend it back and then it opens them and you can place your extensions in there then you close it and you hook it back together and then they are secure in there and then you take the bag and your extensions on your hanger and you put the hanger inside the bag and then push it up to the top until it comes out the top and then your extensions fall into the bag and then you zip it up from the bottom just make sure you don't catch any of the hairs on the zipper and you're good to go so yeah an extension holder one of my absolute favorites all right so the next item i have to show you guys is something that i didn't know existed for the longest time and i am so glad that i found out about them because i am a sweaty girl <laughs> that is so gross i'm sorry tmi but i sweat like crazy and i don't mean like all the time but on a night out if i'm wearing a leather jacket for example i do sweat and something really annoying for me about wearing jackets out and being sweaty is that i would always get like the armpit area sweaty and after a few wears or even like after one wear you might want to wash your jacket because it's gross and just let that build up and washing a fake leather jacket is honestly such an ordeal for me because I can't toss it in with the rest of my clothing I can't put it in the dryer or else it'll melt so what I have discovered a lifesaver are armpit pads <laughs> just what every girl needs honestly so basically they are literally just pads that you can stick to the inside of your clothing and you sweat onto those instead of your clothing and then you just peel them right Right off when you're done and throw them away and this one I believe was a hundred pack for like eight dollars I don't know if the price has changed since then but I got a hundred of them for eight dollars which is such a steal and I haven't washed my jackets in so long because I don't have to I don't wear them too often and I don't get them sweaty anymore so if you're anything like me get these right now all right so for this next item i haven't organized it in so long so please don't judge me but it is a nail polish organizer and i know that you can buy these tons of places i just happened to find it was cheapest to buy it from ebay and when it arrived it came in a bunch of different pieces i believe it was four of these trays and then the two side pieces and then a bunch of screws and i had to screw these in myself so there is a little bit of building required for this set but once you put it together it is so gorgeous it keeps everything super organized 
organized and if you are a messy girl like me this really comes in handy so definitely check this out if you are in the market for one and the same goes for this lipstick organizer I also got it from eBay and it is keeping everything in place and visible so I can see all my products would the hell is this doing here that's my nail polish you can get a girl organizers but you can't keep her organized anyway this one doesn't require any setup it comes fully built so yeah like i said if you guys are interested go ahead and check them out okay so the next item is for all my fake tanners out there and it is a kabuki brush please excuse how freaking nasty mine is i have literally owned this for i think like three years and i use this mainly for my hands i don't know if you guys saw my secrets to getting a dark tan video but this is the one that i use not video and I used it on my chest because sometimes my chest doesn't pick up a lot of tanner so I will use this first instead of the mitt because I feel like the mitt soaks up more product and then what I normally use it for is for my hands I like how dense it is I feel like it really kind of keeps the product where you want it to be and can hold a lot more product at one time than like a very loose brush I feel like this is just really good for precision work so if you guys are fake tanners I would really recommend getting this kabuki brush for doing your hands and your chest and like I said I've owned this one for about three years now and besides all the stains on it it is in perfect condition all the hairs are still in place the gold is still really solid and pretty and not loose in any way so yeah if you guys are looking for a really good brush option for fake tanning I really recommend this one all right so this next one is gonna be a little bit hard to show you guys and it's super random but it's one of my favorite eBay purchases ever and it is this chest set take it all in <laughs> I'll try to insert a clip of it just sitting down so you guys can get a better look at it. But the story behind this one is that on vacation, my boyfriend and I got a little bit bored and pulled out a chess set that was in the house we were staying at. And neither of us had played for a while, but we got right back into it and realized that we love playing chess together. So on his birthday, I got this chess set for our future apartment when we move in together. And the reason why I bought this one, because it's actually pretty expensive, I believe it was like $200, but I'm an extra girl and I love bougie looking things and I don't want a foldable cardboard chest set in our apartment. I wanted a really cool marble one. So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. So I forgot what material these are made out of, but they are heavy. They have weight to them and they sound like this. Sounds fancy, huh? And then on the bottom here, they have like little, I think it's felt whatever it's called. It's like the little protective bottom. And it also protects the board from being scratched when you move them across. By the way, these bottoms make it feel so nice and buttery when you move these across the board. And then the board itself is not actually real marble. That would be way too expensive. And also all the marble options that I can find were not really my style. But then I found this one and I was like, oh my God, this is literally so gorgeous. So it's basically this high gloss marble print on wood. This is a heavy type of of wood really good quality and then in between the white and the black marble you've got this gold sort of framing and when I first saw the listing I actually thought that this was real metal in between the squares I didn't realize it was part of the print so when you look at it up close it can look a little bit cheap or like tacky to have that printed on there but honestly I prefer it not be raised because you can easily move the pieces and just glide them across and also from far away it really does not look tacky or cheap whatsoever it's honestly one of the most gorgeous sets that I have ever seen and I don't think it looks tacky at all I think it looks very classy actually and I cannot wait to have this fitting in our future apartment here's a little clip of it all set up and even though I really wanted a marble chest set the pieces are what really drew me to it first of all I love the fact that half the set is gold and the other half is this really nice like chrome finish instead of like black or white and I also love the shape of the pieces like just look at these I've never seen anything so regal in my life like honestly if this queen alone doesn't make you want to buy the set I don't know what will like look at that crown she is serving looks all right so next up is something that I actually cannot show you right here if I held it up it would just completely fall apart and it is a jewelry display set so I know that a lot of jewelry displays are black or white or nude but when I saw this set I was like oh my god a pink set I need and before you guys start thinking it's tacky because it's pink take a look at this I mean maybe you still do think it's tacky but it's this really gorgeous muted pink leatherette set and it comes with so many different pieces and also the listing sells a bunch of individual pieces as well in case you don't want to buy the whole set but as you guys can see it comes with a main base piece and then a second base piece and a main necklace holder it also has two other small necklace holders 
five earring holders, three individual ring holders, and then a little five piece ring holder as well as two bracelet holders, and then two little pillows that you can also put bracelets around. And then something that I bought individually from that set is this bracelet holder as well. So yeah, to me it is super gorgeous and I'm now all set for displaying my jewelry whenever we move into our apartment. I honestly can't wait to set it up. I feel like it's gonna look so pretty. But yeah, if you guys are looking for something a little bit different from the regular sort of sets, I would really recommend checking this one out because it is so beautiful. While we're on the subject of jewelry though, I have one more thing to show you and that is a ring box. Excuse the fact that I only have one ring in it. I just wanted to leave one in there to show you guys how they sit. But basically, this is what I use to keep all my rings that are not on display organized and laid out so I can see all my options. And it comes with this little cover. Excuse the fact that it's like dented and scratched. I have used this for quite a while. But yeah, so you can put a cover on it so they are all secure. I mean, the cover is kind of like, it comes off easily and it's also not like the highest quality. It's pretty much a cardboard box, but it looks really nice and it's really useful and it's not super expensive. So this is another favorite of mine. I forgot how many slots you have to put your rings in. Ew, ignore the dirt. <laughs> I've had the cover off for a little while and the dust has collected, but you can really fit a lot of rings in here. So if you're like me and you own a lot of them, this is a great option to have. All right, so the last but definitely not least item that I have to show you is the desk in my room. Again, I can't show you right here, so I'll have a picture of it. And I'll also show you guys a clip of it as well, but it is this gorgeous white high gloss finish desk. And as you guys can see in the picture, it came with silver legs. And by the way, I had to assemble this whole thing myself. It's like an Ikea sort of situation. It definitely wasn't the most difficult thing ever, but it did take some time. But once I finished it, I was just so proud of myself and it was so gorgeous. I was so in love. But after I assembled the legs, before I put them on the desk, I spray painted them gold because gold is just so much more my aesthetic and I love how it turned out. It is the perfect desk for me at the moment. My room here at home is kind of small, so I love how narrow it is while still allowing enough space for me to do my makeup on in the morning or to do any work on my computer or any of that and it just looks so beautiful. So if you guys are looking for a similar desk, I would definitely go ahead and check that out. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see more. Also, if you'd like to see more of me, you can go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram at Annika underscore Helmer. And with all of that said, I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video.